Oh, uh, I have no idea. It's just it just been crazy, so I don't know. Okay. And it's like I had my father around, but uh, he worked so much and I had a lot of events that he didn't show up to. So it was almost like he was around, but he wasn't around. So when I was a teen, I felt the importance of I was I I made it a conscious decision, choice uh, decision at that age that I was like, I'm going to get married before I had kids. And I was like, I want my kids that if I can't show up. At least their mom can show up. One of us have to show up. Right. And another thing for me, I was afraid of daycares, man. Daycares. Nah, I tell you. One thing when it was the rise of them teachers just terrorizing kids on the low, and then cameras were just getting popular. Yeah. Well, my kids were too. They didn't have those cameras in there, you know. But back then, when I had my kids in the late nineties, I was sending three kids to daycare. For like sixty dollars a week, do that now. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> man. Hey. Hey, that's a discount. I was getting a voucher at the time, so for three kids, it only cost me sixty dollars a week. So I was paying one hundred and twenty dollars every two weeks for daycare. Man, now it's it's like you paying rent. <laughs> it is. You are paying rent to take them to daycare right now. And then not only that, you got to worry about. Did y'all see the story? Where it was a daycare worker giving uh, little kids Benadryl. Oh you know no, I didn't see week? that. Yes, I, I heard of. I, yes, I do. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, you mean like to, to just make them go to sleep? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. No, I ain't hear about that. I just know about all the ones where the kids be getting beat up on the low. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's crazy to think. Now you got to worry about not only. Is somebody possibly gonna put their hands on my kids because they frustrated? Now you gotta worry about his kid gonna be jerked. Mm. Mm. What is this world coming to? It's like, dang, it's so crazy. It's like now you can't go to school, you can't go to this. Sometimes you gotta be weird, go to a store. I don't need, I don't even know. I mean, I know it's gotten bad when like reverends and preachers are packing in churches now. You know, and that was unheard of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That school shoot. I mean, that yeah. first shooting was that in Charlotte, North Carolina, where, where that man went in there and shot up that church. Because it's so much stuff that happened. I, I, if I'm lying, I'm sorry. But I, I thought it was in North Carolina where he went in there and shot up that church. Now you have deacons and preachers in churches with guns. Yeah, that was North. Yeah. Carolina. I think it was North, Carolina. North or South Carolina. It was yeah. one of the Carolinas. Well, because he knew at the time churches you didn't have guns in. Them. So uh, who who's gonna shoot back at him? So he knew it. They ain't now. I wouldn't do it. But I'm just saying at the time that that be on You know, and then just like the Colorado shooting in the theater, we all know ain't no guns and no guns. Oh, it's <laughs> you know. And then that's cra- that one was crazy because you thinking this part of the movie maybe, and then you just get he came in and dressed up like Batman or something. Did he not? Yeah, like- throwing and then Batman, not Joker, then throwing the gas and the whatnot. So you make it okay, maybe it's a special or something. That is correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm area about now. The things you got to worry about now as a parent pertaining to your child, I think that was enough to make me want to get married. I thought about that stuff when I was young. Because you think about most kids that get molested. Most kids that get molested is what, you know, their mom had to leave them with somebody. Michael, you're right. And then that uncle or that um, family friend or, you know, or that cousin, that older cousin, come through, and then you know you you that's what you end up with. That's exactly right. So, you know, I always when I talk to younger folks, man, I tell them get married first and foremost. Get married if you can. Get married before you have kids. Just when you get married, even if you don't have nothing, because I didn't know any better. But if I knew any of what I know now. Even though I didn't have anything and my wife didn't have anything, I would have got a pre. Yeah. 
Sometimes I don't know what he's done talking or if it's just his internet freezing up. Yeah, same, <laughs> same of <over> it. <here. laughs> okay. Get that prenup, prenup, prenup. Don't just get married talking about I'm in love. Because a lot of people ain't in love, they in lust. Hey, man, that I agree with. I agree with that. That's correct. And some people just get together because they need each other. I'm broke, she broke, mm -hmm. she broke yeah. together. Well, I'm struggling, she's struggling. Well, at least that's two incomes coming in, you know, things like that. It, it's all sort of stuff that gets people together. Yeah. 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 I think that situation happens with the, uh, that's the one that's happening with a lot of young people because everything rising. And pretty much either trying to be an entrepreneur or you trying to uh, just do at least have a good high paying job to compete with the prices keep going up. Yes. All right. So, what are these people supposed to do? It's, it's hard to live by yourself nowadays. It's hard. Mm -hmm. The younger folks, a lot of us older ones, man, we done. You know, we've made our share of mistakes. But yeah. if you're young and you, you know, you don't have. Well, you know, it's, it takes a village to raise a child, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're one of those young people at home that doesn't have a father figure, there's other smart black men in your neighborhood. Just go talk to them. Right. There's some people in the neighborhood that's married, happily married with children and don't mind sitting down having a conversation with you, you know? Yep, and and if you're out there too, you you 18, 19, you don't have, you know, no major responsibilities as far as bills, go start working and building your credit. Yes, I wish somebody yeah. could. Uh -huh. oh. yeah. Man, you get that together, you was absolutely correct. I wish I would have did it with my bank person too, man. Yeah. And that's yeah. one of the first things I made my oldest do. I definitely agree on that because they do definitely ask you as soon as you turn 18 if you do got a bank account. Mm -hmm. About an unstart with like a 300 down for an unsecured credit card. Mm -hmm. Think about this, Kobe. If, if you would have did that at 18, by the time you was 23, 24, imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know how powerful credit was because I graduated high school in '97. So '98, you can get a checking account for free. You know, all you had to do was just sign your name to the security number. Now they do check your credit. Some the bigger banks they check your yeah. credit. Yeah, and they'll deny you too. And, and they sure will deny you too. And check your credit, man. I was like, man. <laughs> and they do it in the most petty way. They send you an email and they send it to the man. <laughs> they don't. They? <laughs> like, damn, adding salt to the room. I got it. <laughs> yeah. So for those who can't get a regular checking account, they do have those like online stuff like Nouveau, Blue Line, things like that. that uh, Alley Bank. Alley Bank, yeah, you know. But yeah, them big ones, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Fifth Third, Truist. Mm -hmm. Yep. They, they, it's like they don't want you to they do a background check on you. Is that what you said? A background check. <laughs> that way, checking yeah. account, man. What is this world yeah. man? You know? It's crazy. And then it's not, it's like it's not even your money. So I, I'm just trying to eat it. <laughs> Thank you. I need a place to park my money because if it stays in my pocket, I'm going to spend it. Uh -huh, and, most you know, definitely. I can't put my money in your bank. I'm like, okay, that's another day it's gonna stay in my pocket, you know. So I'm trying to figure this out. And then another that one of the dangerous things about that is you unexpectedly need something that you really probably didn't need that you mm -hmm. just did away. Th there you go, you're right. And the crazy part of even more is that you can't even get an apartment nowadays. They look into your credit. Even jobs start looking into people's credit now. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, wow. You've been doing that forever. 
If you try to get a government job, they were gonna do that. Yeah, they were doing that. Yeah. Like Amazon and stuff now. Yeah, they looking into your credit, your Facebook account, Twitter account. Like what the hell? Wow. That's that's crazy, man. Okay. So you think about the price of an apartment right now, even a studio. Oh man, they practically want two thousand still. Eventually, by the time you have children, they're gonna want their blood and their firstborn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to, to get a home, I'm telling you, it, it, it's just getting ridiculous out here. And then it's it's petty because they only like raise the prices of uh, so few jobs higher, like the the wage. And then everything else is still the same. Right. I think I read somewhere they said that like every year, uh, seven years, it was like a, a not even a hundred, like a four hundred and forty two something percent increase in um uh, what's the thing we was talking about? And um uh, inflation. Because mm -hmm. all the price is going up, but the price of a minimum wage has stayed the same all those seven years. Correct. And, and in my opinion, it's just a government way of keeping you working because we all know that the Rockefellers helped the government in the 1800s start what they call Common Core, which is the school system. Because Rockefeller told them, I don't need competition, I need workers. So yeah. then he comes to public schools. So you're right. So everything, in my opinion, that the government is doing is to keep people working. So the rent's two thousand dollars. If your car payment is two thousand dollars, you got five kids. You ain't got time to be no entrepreneur. You better work two or three jobs. And then now that I think about it, that could be like uh, to come back because, like, I don't know, like back then when I was in high school, it was a a big surge of uh, entrepreneurship and everybody trying to be a boss. You can look at it as like the government trying to force people back to get into like an employee mindset as well. Right. Well, so I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever been to the SBA? Like, have you ever tried to apply for a small business loan? Because I have. They yes, I did. They don't. It's like pulling teeth. So when, when you see these politicians on TV talking about helping small businesses, they're lying. Because yeah. If you get approved for an SBA mm -hmm. loan, it's just saying that we're going to back up. 90% of the loan. So they loaned me $100,000 and I default. The SBA is going to at least pay them back 90, right? So they're mm -hmm. not going to do that for everybody. The application is long, it's tedious, all this stuff. So don't mm -hmm. uh, don't uh, uh, think that the SBA is here to help you. I'm putting it that way. And uh, Sky, I wanted to ask you is there a way to, to do what, Damo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you going in and out of here. <laughs> there's a lot of um code that was talking about that. Um mm -hmm. people being mm -hmm. able to borrow against their life insurance policies, but I didn't yeah. know but even that takes credit. I even <laughs> Yeah. It does. I didn't even yeah. Oh, go ahead. Uh no, I was just saying because I was I seen the same thing and was trying to try it out, but then when I researched it, it just said pretty much it's it's credit, really. Mm -hmm. Well, what 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 I'm trying to do with my lawyer as far as the trust and the wheels, mm -hmm. what they call starting a family bank with your life insurance, right? Mm -hmm. So what the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers did, they put like a million dollar life insurance on each individual person in the family. So when they died, the life insurance went into a trust. And so what they did was, let's say the next generation, they got a part of the trust. The, the uh, Let's break it down into three. So one third went to the next generation, one third went to paying off debt, and one third went to paying on the next generation's million dollar policies. So every time a generation dies, there's millions and millions of dollars going into the trust. And that's what they're talking about. And if you want to borrow against your whole life insurance, which is much more expensive than term, then that's when you get what they call the family bank and borrow against your death benefits. So if your death benefits is a million dollars and you borrow fifty thousand, then when you die, they're going to subtract the fifty thousand and give either put it in the trust or give it to your family, however you have it set up as your beneficiary. 
So to set up a trust, who would um uh, who would you need to go to to set up a trust on? Find you a lawyer that you trust, because some will charge you two thousand dollars, some will charge you seven thousand dollars to set up your your prenups, your wills, your power of attorneys, your trust. Just depends on who you want to do. Or if you can find somebody who's like um who's like an off duty attorney. They'll do it for like five, six hundred dollars. Because basically, you're just filling out paperwork. It has nothing to do with the government. You're filling out paperwork, and you have somebody like me, because I'm a notary, notarize it, and it's official. Gotcha. So if you pass away, what you want is a board of trustees, get some family members together that you trust to look over it. And when you pass away, the board of trustees will be there, the, the accountant or the lawyer will be there. And I know y'all watch them TV shows and movies mm-hmm. where they <laughs> they sit there mm-hmm. open the wheel. Well, Stamo said he leaves this to the dog, he leaves this to the cat, and stuff like that. And then they'll also say, Well, Damo and Kobe says, Whoever gets this much money, now we're going to have to put life insurance on you up to two million dollars. So when you die, two million dollars go back into this trust. And so your kids will get a part of this two million dollars, and then the trust will put insurance on them. And when they die, it goes back into the trust, and so forth and so forth. That's why the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and the Vanderbilts have been rich for hundreds and hundreds of years because of whole life insurance. And you know, it's crazy because we have auto insurance and we have health insurance and there is no kickback on that if you never use it. But we don't, a majority of us don't have life insurance and I just don't ever get it. I think that it's like a, not a lack of education. I believe that too. I believe yeah. that too. I agree. Yeah, that's what you said. A lack of education because they don't want you to be rich. You, they want you to be middle class or poor because they keep you working. Uh, land without labor is dead. Y'all know that, right? Like before the 1900s, oh, yeah. the whole world lived off of land. There were no factories, yeah. there were no Amazons, no Kroger's, no Walmart. You took your ass out there, you planted seeds, you grew your harvest, you killed your cows. Yeah. You know. And it's still parts of this world that they still live that old school way. Rose again or no? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's still parts of the yeah. world that live like that, man. You know? Yeah. I, and I kind of find, or well, at least I do, I kind of find uh, enjoyment in labor. It's like, I don't know, it just makes me feel important that I'm doing something for a purpose. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely correct. I think so, that's any time you put something together with your hands. Even, I don't care if it's artwork or it's handcrafted. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh-huh. type of satisfaction that you created something. True. Um, what about this, man? What about, um, you know, investing? I know that's something else that young people, man, you see more and more young people doing it, but investing into stock bonds, bitcoins, gold, um, silver. Well, oh, okay. Well, I know, um, uh, investing that's um, one thing that I was told early on, but it's still like. Even though people explained it to me, it seems just more risky, like than going to a casino. Because it, I feel it's like I like more assurance with my money instead of a gamble. So that's why I never just jumped into it. And then it also kind of like Bitcoin and those emoji things, the highs and lows. It's kind of like, dang, I don't want to be working, and then it's be a, a low out the blue, and I can't get to my phone. to me investment because i I invest i have like three investment apps i have a 401k i mean sorry that's a lot i have an ira and uh okay so if we just simplify investments right we all we all wear hanes t-shirts so in my mind if i'm buying hanes t-shirts that means they're still in business so that would be the first thing i invest in you know Let's say y'all buy Purity Milk. Well, if you're buying Purity Milk, that means they're still in business. So you own a part of Purity Milk, and when you buy Purity Milk, you're basically paying yourself. So if you teach it like that, I hope hopefully that wasn't confusing. Was that confusing? No, that makes that makes sense. Yeah. Right. 
but if you put your money in a company that you know nothing about or that you've never spent your own money on then that's the risk like bitcoin i have never touched bitcoin because i don't even know what the hell bitcoin i can't even spell bitcoin so i don't even know what it is you know what i'm saying <laughs> I guess he still froze. Like I can never tell. I don't know either. It's, 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 <laughs> I can see the camouflage now. What he was talking. Yeah, Google. Yeah, Apple, uh, they ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Right, right. But I still suggest you still uh, do your due diligence, due diligence, and do your research on Apple and Google and all them. You know. Just, just still know what you're putting your money into. Right. But even if I'm putting five dollars a month into a stock, I know why it's going there because it's paying me dividends. Like right now, I'm getting kicked in the butt because Ford pays dividends on time like crazy. But now they have that UAW strike. So now that that stock is plummeting. And I might not get my dividends next quarter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, dang. Oh, yeah, I forgot about <laughs> so that. Mm -hmm. So there you go with that. Yeah. And that's that that's that gamble, man. Started. If it, you know, it going up and down. But I guess you can look at it too, like lottery, like in the yeah. lottery ticket. It is. Well, you know, life is a gamble. Did you ever play the game of life growing up? Yeah. Yeah. So life is a gamble. So everything you do is a gamble, my friend. So even your yeah. job is a gamble. Starting a business is a gamble. Hell, waking up tomorrow is a gamble. So. You know, I feel you. Hey, look at Monopoly. Look at, you know, you can play Monopoly and have, you know, man, half of a side and still bankrupt. Yeah. That's right. That is right. You can. Y'all yeah. should look the history up of Monopoly, the board game Monopoly. The, the guy who started Monopoly stole that idea from his friend. And then the friend tried to sue him for it. Y'all should just research. Just type in the history of Monopoly on Google and read about that, how that board game got started. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You can't trust nobody, man. You can't trust nobody. I know. That's just like you know what one of your buddies was like, ah, and I, I made a burger. And then just, you know, ah, you drink the burger out and be like, I made. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you, friendships is gamble, families is gamble, you know. That's why. Huh? Hey, well, you might have to go outside, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. man, he's killing your Wi-Fi. <laughs> it is like toggling. And you know the crazy part? I turned uh -huh. And, and it turns you, you, like five, you You know you get five <laughs> different things you can hook up to Wi-Fi, and then after that, it yeah. won't allow nothing else. Well, I got everything right. turned off. No, I see. You I understand. I understand. Yeah. Well, again, I, I don't know because I don't know who you with. I got Spectrum over here. It's it's um um Infinity Comcast. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, that's a bad look, Infinity. Oh man. I know it. This is the first time on any. I think we've done about four or five episodes. I've never had this. Like it keeps toggling, and I'm like, why mm. is this toggling like this? Like it's mm. trying to reconnect. Yeah. Well, again, like I said, you can get a booster or you can get your uh, separate internet service like, you know, T-Mobile for $50 a month. Mm -hmm. You can plug it up downstairs where you at and just use that Wi-Fi, not the house's Wi-Fi. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, our Verizon, they got, I know Verizon got to get uh, internet because that's, mm -hmm. you can just get some of the powers. on Facebook and I'm going to show them this is the quality that I get from your internet service and I want to see how quick they fix my internet. This is what happened man using your internet service. 
And then put, I may switch to AT and T. And I'm posting. Oh man, yes, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what I always used to do to, to get the people when I was trying to switch a phone or whatnot, and they was giving me some trouble. They give me the discount. So. Yep, you're right. I'm going to the competition. Hold on, hold on. Before you walk out that door, what can we do to help you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're right. And it's funny because I turned everything off. I was like, all right, y'all, getting ready to uh, go live at twelve. No, uh, no Wi-Fi. I cut everything off. Even the screen behind me, that computer, I cut it off. Mm-hmm. Well, you you know, I've, I've been over your house, and you know, you, you're when we come in, you go down. So I, I always know the Wi-Fi. Sometimes the further down you go, sometimes the harder it is. Okay, yeah, so it might just be the structure of the, of the house, too, or yes. if you got some metal or something like that. It's right by this room. The, my den, where I actually have the internet connection, is right mm-hmm. next to this room. Like the cable line runs in here somewhere. Gotcha. So it's like Comcast, man. Y'all letting me down. Y'all killing me on here. <laughs> in, in <the> room. <laughs> what happened to Infinity and Beyond? Y'all Beyond stop every two, three minutes. I know what you mean too. That little fast um, red to green, and then it stops. Mm-hmm. They got me looking like I'm on dial up. <laughs> I, I, I was just about to say that you on South Central Bell over there. Uh huh. Bell South. Bell. <laughs> Is that too old? Uh, <laughs> Before they became Bell South, they were South Central Bell. Oh dang. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even think Bell South exists anymore. <laughs> you know nah, nah, that's AT and T now. It's AT and T now, but when I was a kid, it was called South Central Bell. You know what I mean? Yes, they sure did as it went back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He, he might be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, kick me out again. I know. Yeah, I'm gonna send this right to their grave as soon as we get off. Y'all gonna be like, he really did that. I'm gonna put it right oh, on. Go ahead. You might get your spots. Shit, you here, here, here. Yeah. yeah, they ask, like, what do you want here? I need somebody to sponsor this for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know how I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be comical. <laughs> this gonna be real comical. I'm gonna be like, and I'm like, all my other devices was disconnected, all of them. And it's been like this from the beginning to the end. Couldn't even tell the young people, man, how what they can do. Give them no advice. Cause every time I say something, they be like, ah. <laughs> right? And just be stuck yeah, there. We didn't know if you were just talking or you just frozen in time. We 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 couldn't. We didn't know. Yeah. And then it's it's crazy because you don't have no no like pixelage at that. It's like we don't know you just being still or you right. <laughs> right. This crazy. Yeah, he's. Hey y'all. We probably going to go ahead and end this show. I'm about to make a fun of Comcast because this is ridiculous. They got this like AOL. I, they going to fix this. Right. So when I put this show on their page, they going to fix it. Watch. Yes. Count their days. <laughs> yeah, we might be switching to AT&T. Yeah. AT&T, we may be on the way. That optimal, whatever y'all said y'all got going on, we gonna see because mm-hmm. this is Comcast. Y'all don't be like Comcast. It feel like I'm out of the spirit of internet connections. AT and T will take your money too. Trust me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll yeah. take your money, but you have good internet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you have good internet, but you they sure will take your money. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. 
they in business like anybody else. You want to flash that money, they sure will come over there and get it. Yeah, they don't have no uh, set off. It's just whatever they want to charge you. <laughs> what you said? Ain't no shame in that game. None whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like he's literally just frozen, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. I guess we're going to go ahead and end this, man. I will see you guys next week. We're going to have better inter internet connection. I guarantee y'all that. They ain't going to be paying no as much as stuff costs now. They ain't going to be doing me like this and be paying for AOL and can't use it. I don't even hardly be on the internet at home. I hardly be home. Hell. Oh, that make it worse. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. I be at work all the time. I be at work or sleep. You know how that go. I don't even watch TV. I watched a little bit of the games, probably the first half, because my teams was getting beat down. Other than that, I wouldn't even watch the TV after that. I was surprised that my Broncos came back and beat the Bears. I was surprised at that too. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, after they got whooped 70 to 20 last week, this week, I, like it must be a God for them to come back and win. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was probably heard some some people jobs on the line. <laughs> man, what you said? And I don't know if y'all watched the game last night, the Giants versus the uh, who the heck did they play? Oh, Seattle. Uh huh. The Giants look like a high school team out there. Oh man, and that's sick. I think because one last season they were decent, and then just they be were, coming out to be getting blanketed by everybody. Man, they need to Man, call them the little. Barkley hurt everything, you know. They need to call them the littles. Cause ain't nothing talking <laughs> about them this year. Bless their heart. You know your boy got sacked eleven times. Daniel Jones, right? Oh, he, man. he in the ice so tub right now. I guarantee he in the ice tub. Yeah. I the record with uh Troy Eggman because back in nineteen ninety three. Troy Aikman and the Dallas Cowboys was playing the Philadelphia Eagles, and Buddy Ryan's defense sacked him 11 times. Jesus so Christ. last night, Daniel Jones got sacked 11 times. He, he, probably, oh, looked, he probably looking like Martin Lawrence. Remember when Tommy Hearns hit Martin? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. That's what he looking like right now. <laughs> Okay, he's out again. I think so. I think so. Oh. Okay. Okay, I see a hand. I see a hand. <laughs> and then he's going to get Yeah. <laughs> man, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. I'm going to post this on, uh, this is funny. I'm going to post it on Comcast in about an hour. And just, I'm just excited just to see the response I get. Because I know they're going to say it ain't had nothing to do with us, but nah, this is internet connection. So. Mm -hmm. We'll be back next week, y'all. I hope y'all tune in. Thank y'all for tuning man, in. Again, man. I appreciate y'all. You know, well, Tuesdays is going to be podcast day for me because now once I'm done with this one, I'm going to do my podcast. So Tuesdays is podcast day for me. I, you know what, Sky? I think it's gonna be for me too. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a sports one. Yeah. Um, and if there's mm -hmm. anybody else, yeah. Well, he said he. Okay, well, I, I, you know, the way things go, you might not even have the internet to post it on Comcast. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's their plan. That's their get back. <laughs> I may have to get this fixed before I can even do another show. Ah, you know. uh, yeah, you got to not post it then. They see it, they're going to be slow to. <laughs> but, oh, but Comcast, I'm going to post it on theirs, but I don't know if it's going to be like on Facebook or nothing like that. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm not be posting the next Comcast. Now I think I'm gonna wipe this. I'm gonna wipe this computer clean before I do. 
All right, man. Thank you, gentlemen, man, right. for joining me, man. We'll be back next Thank Tuesday. You. Sky, good luck, man, on your uh your show. Post it, man. Yes, I want to watch it also, okay? Okay, I I'm gonna gonna, I not only watch it, but share it. Gotcha. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Same, same. All right, man. And I'll Y'all have a great time. You too.